Hello, hello, I'm Liao. Welcome back to Everyone of Code 2023. We are solving puzzles with code every day until the Christmas, and today we are on day four. So let's take a look at what puzzle awaits for us on day four. Day four, scratch cards. The gondola takes you up, strangely, though. The ground doesn't seem to coming with you. You're not climbing a mountain. As the circle of snow island recedes below you, an entire new landmass suddenly appears above you. The gondola carries you to the surface of the new island and lurches into the station. As you exit the gondola, the first thing you notice is that the air here is much warmer than it was on snow island. It is also quite humid. Is this the where the water source is? Hmm. Next thing you notice is an elf sitting on the floor across the station in what seems to be a pile of colorful square cards. Oh, hello! The elf excitedly runs over to you. How may I be of service? You, may, uh, you ask about water sources. I'm not sure. I just operate a gondola lift. That does sound like something we have, though. This is Island Island. What a weird name. <laughs> I bet the gardener would know. He's on a different island though. Er, the small kind of the small kind surrounded by water, not the floating kind. Uh, we really need to come up with a better naming scheme. Tell you what, if you can help me with something quick, I'll let you borrow my boat and you can go visit the gardener. I got all the scratch cards as gifts, but I can't figure out what I've won. The elf leads you over to a pile of colorful cards. There, you discover dozens of scratch cards, all with opaque covering already scratched off. Picking one up, it looks like each card has two lists of numbers separated by a vertical bar, a list of winning numbers, and then a list of numbers you have. You organize the information into a table, which is your puzzle input like this. As far as the elf has been able to figure out, you have to figure out uh, which of the numbers you have appear in a list of winning numbers. The first match makes the card worth 1 point, and each match after the first doubles the point you have uh, the value of the card. In the above example, card 1 has 5 winning numbers, so these are the winning numbers. And the 8 numbers you have, so these are the numbers that you have. Of the numbers you have, 4 of them are winning numbers, so I have 48, which is in front. We have 83 over here. We have 17 and we have 86 as well, right? So uh, four of them are winning. So that means your card is worth eight points. So one for the first match and then double, which is two and then four and then eight. So double for three matches, you have eight points. Card two has two winning numbers. We have 32 and we have 61. So it's worth two points and so on and so forth. So in this example, the elf's pulse of scratch cards is worth 13 points. Take a seat in the large pile of colorful cards. How many points are they worth in total? So this is our puzzle input. Okay, way more winning, way more winning numbers and way more numbers that you have. But let's copy this and let's start with our code. Let's, let's copy this. So day four, puzzle one dot js. Gonna start our code. So first thing is I copied all the uh the, the we copied our input and I'm gonna create um uh, create a variable to store them called input. Okay. Uh first thing is I'm gonna collapse this so that uh I can have a rough view of our input. Um here we're gonna process row by row and so here we are going to break the inputs into lines. Break it with the new line separator. And for each line, we have the card and then um, the card number, which is probably not that important. And then we have a colon and a space. And then numbers are all space separated over here. And then we have um 
a straight line, a pipeline, and then we have numbers again space separated until the end. Okay, some 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 parts we have two spaces, some we have uh one space in between. Okay. Um so let's see how we can uh process every line. So for const line line of lines. Okay, I think we are gonna use a regular expressions um to match the card and then we gonna capture the winning numbers and then we're gonna capture our numbers uh use using regular expressions so let me write our regular expressions um let me have this um the line dot match and then we're gonna start with card and then we have unknown number of white spaces and then we have num um we have one or more number of uh, digits and then we have a colon and then we have a space and then this is where we're going to capture until we meet a pipeline okay a space and then a pipeline and then space and then things that we want to capture and then the ending right so we're going to capture this group and this group which is the winning and the um our number so we're gonna winning number and my num uh what's it called winning numbers and numbers we have okay so we say numbers we have right okay after we matched it with the winning numbers and numbers we have uh for the winning numbers uh, a string for the winning numbers we are going to use regular expressions again to match up the um, continuous uh, digit numbers so I'm going to say winning numbers uh, dot match all I'm going to match all uh continuous digit numbers over here and so it will try to match all the numbers like this out for me um so this is the match i'm gonna because it returns a iterator so i'm gonna spread it into an array and then uh for the for each item within the array the first uh, so we are not using a capturing group so the first thing that it matches is what it matches so we're gonna take it out you're gonna so here I'm gonna say uh, the match or the number oops and then we'll make it uh, so now we have this list of numbers based on what we match we're gonna take it we're gonna put it into a set so that later on when we iterate through again we're gonna use the same way to match uh to uh, abstract all the numbers out from the numbers we have set and from there we want to met, uh, compare with the numbers in the winning numbers we're gonna use a set to uh to check whether it's within the winning set which is much easier because uh if we store in a set we can have an o of one um, time complexity of checking whether it's inside rather than have to iterate through the win if it's an array then we have to iterate through the array and getting um, checking one by one so we're going to put it into a set so this is the winning number set equals a new set and we're going to pass in this whole array into this set so this is the set of winning numbers and then for the winning numbers uh, then we're gonna do the same matching again for the numbers that we have over here
for the numbers. So it's the same thing. We're gonna take the first item. Uh, this uh returns an uh iterator, which each iteration gives us an array, and we're gonna this uh which is like a matching array, and then for each array we're gonna get the first item element, which is this number that we just matched, and then with this number we are going to check whether it's inside a winning number set. So the uh the what's this called the point that point equals to zero starting from zero and if number okay, if winning number set has the number then we are gonna say points okay points if it's zero this is the first point you have if point is zero then points it goes to one, right? This is the first point. Else, points multiplies by two. So this will loop through the numbers, get calculate our points, and then at the end, we are also going to calculate the total points. Because it's zero. Total points plus equals to points. And finally, we're going to print out the total points uh, that we have from all the scratch cards. And let's see what we get. Note day four puzzle one. Oops, hold on. Numbers we have string. Match all undefined. Okay, so uh numbers we have dot match all. This could be, oh, capture one, two, this could be undefined. Hmm, what is, is there something wrong with the input or something wrong with our regular expressions? Let's see. Um, I'm going to print out all the winning numbers. String. Oh, hold on, hold on. I think this thing, I'm going to escape it. Okay. Or else it, it will seem like it's a, um, or else it's, it's a regular expression, expressions of a regular expression, a token. It's like either this or this, right? So I'm going to escape it. My bad, my bad. Let's run it again. 21458. Is this the answer of how many points that we are going to get? Let's try. And yay, that's the right answer. Yes. So we got one more star for day four and we are going towards the second stars for day four. So just as you are about to report your findings to the elf, one of you realizes that the rules have actually been printed on the back of every card this whole time. There's no such thing as points. Instead, scratch card only costs you to win more scratch cards equal to the number of winning numbers you have. Specifically, you win copies of scratch cards below the winning cards equal to the number of the matches. So for example, if card 10 were to have 5 matching numbers, you win 1 copy of each card. 1, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Copies of the scratch cards are scored like normal scratch cards and have the same card number as the card they copied. Okay, so if you win a copy of the card 10 and has 5 matching numbers, um, it will then win a copy of the same card that the original card 10 won. Hmm, if you win a copy of, of card 10 it has 5 then it will be a copy of the same cards that the original card 10 won um, this process repeats until none of the copies cause you to win any more cards cards will never make you a copy a card past the end of the table okay I'm not quite sure what I un understand this but let's go through the steps this time this okay Card 1 has 4 num matching numbers, so you win 1 copy of each of the next 4 cards. 2, 3, 4, 5, you win 1 copy. Original card 2 has 2 matching numbers, so you win 1 copy of each 3 and 4. And copy 2, 
copy of card two also win one. Uh, cop your original card matching number. So you one copy of each card, and then the copy of the card two also win two, right? So you get three, another copy of three and four, and your four instances of. So I have my original three. Uh, I have the. I have my original three, and then card one give me another copy of three. Original of two give me another copy of three, and then the copy of two give me a copy of three. So I have four copies of three, and have two matching numbers. So I have win two matching numbers. So so the four I have four copies of it. Uh huh. Eight instance. Hmm. So I have one, one, two. So the four also have four copies originally, and then after cut three, I get four more copies, right? Because four copies of three give me, uh, four more copies of four. So I have eight copies of four, and then it gives me another eight copies of five. And then once all the originals, and the copies, you end up with one. Instance two instances of cut two four instances of cut three eight instances of cut four fourteen instances of cut five one instances of cut six. In total, the example of the pile of scratch cards costs you to ultimately have thirty scratch cards. Uh, one plus two plus four plus eight plus fourteen plus one gives me. Um, I think thirty, right? So eight plus two is ten. Four plus fourteen is twenty-eight. So we have thirty. Uh, of eighteen, so we have twenty eight plus two more is, uh, thirty. So we have total thirty cards. So process all, uh, until no more. How many total scratch cards do you end up with? Okay, so it's it's about number of scratch cards that I have. So um. Interesting. Let's come back over here, and make changes to our code. So let me duplicate this code to puzzle two for the four. Oops. Let's collapse this. Okay, so this now we are going to have the total points is total number of cards that we have. Okay, so um let me think we need to have a way to keep track of how many copies of one card. And every time when we scratch, we want to add more to it, right? So, uh, I'm gonna keep an array, uh, number of, call number of cards equals to an array. I'm gonna create a new array based on how many number of lines that I have. So we're gonna say number of lines dot length. I'm gonna fill it up with one, right? So initially, all my cards have, um, all. I have, yeah, I have one cards for all my cards, okay? Then, next thing is, uh, instead of all cons of line, of lines, I'm gonna, I need the index of knowing which line I am at so that I can add on to the next few, um, to the next number of cards that I have. So I would say, let I uh, index equals zero, index less than lines dot length, and index plus plus, Over here, so I know my which line, which index of the cards that I have right now. And later on, once we do the matching, so this is where we do the matching. Uh, so when we do match, uh, I think let this rename to uh, matches. Number of matches, and we just need to know how many matches that we have. So it's no longer this point system. It's, we're gonna say plus plus, which is increment by one every time we found one matches. And after one, we, after we found the matches, we are going to um, increment the, uh, so if we have five, if we have four matches, then two, three, four, five, it's gonna have more copies of it, right? So 
Um, so I'm going to let i, I'm going to loop through this, i equals to 0, i less than matches, i plus plus, and my, the number of cuts of the index plus i plus 1, because plus, uh, plus i is plus myself, and then one more, which is the, the next cut. I am going to increment number of cuts that it has uh, for the uh, based on total number of matches that we have. Okay, and so from here, uh, we don't. So we also would might want to check this whether this is within a bounds of number of cuts. But I remember I see that it says that uh, cuts will never make you a copy of a cut past the end of this table. So most likely we don't need to check the boundary cases because it's probably not going to give you more copies of it uh, beyond the, ta uh, the total number of cards that we have. Okay, so here, after we do this, then uh, we need to calculate our total points, right? We start with total points. So total number of points is actually the number of matches that we have for this one times the total number of um, cards that we have for 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 this matches so this is the index over here like this okay let's save this and i think we are done right so we we reuse the code for matching to calculate how many matches we have so instead of our custom point system we just increment and calculate how many number of matches that we have right and then after that with number of matches we incre increase the number of cards that it has um hold on i think this is this is incorrect. So, uh, not uh, not just plus one for every cut. Actually, it's plus number of uh, the current cuts that we have. So it will it will accumulate, right? So right now, if we have four cuts, then this and then it has matches of how many matches? Then the next all the cuts that we're gonna increment is actually increment by the number of copies that we have currently, right? So plus equals the current number of copies and then total in total the point system is also based on the number of matches and then times hold on no not the matches it's just total number of cards that we have in this um and currently right uh yep yes yes so like this and i think it's done right so we uh instead of also looping through and increment by one, we can also at the end of the loop and then we loop through the array of number of cuts and sum it up, uh, that's, that works as well. Uh, but I mean, we're not gonna change the number of cuts on the current index anymore because we keep adding number of cuts, number of copies to the next cuts instead. So I think we, uh, by this loop at the end of this uh, iteration, we have already known uh, for sure how many cuts we have for this current cut index. So let's let's, print out uh, let's run the code and see whether we get what do we get we get this number and then is this the right answer let's paste it in and let's go and hold on did i click it too fast oh i oh yay the correct is answer is correct I just double click it and your puzzle answer and both parts are complete. They provide two gold stars and that's it for this puzzle. Oh, so we are done with day four and we have eight coins, eight gold stars now. So are you ready for the next challenge for day five where I will see you in a day five. Bye bye.